Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Postmaster Key at your service. And welcome back to Rayman 3, where last time uh, we got a bit down on this game because how unfavorably it compares to Rayman 2. And I found out one of the reasons why. Uh, we've, said, uh, we've already said multiple times that uh, the creator, uh, Michel Ancel, I believe that is how it's supposed to be pronounced, uh, the creator of Rayman, uh, he was only involved in an advisory role because he was working on something else. That something else being Beyond Good and Evil. Yep. So, yeah, that explains a thing or two. Yeah. People seem to like this game in general. There seems to be debate which one is better, almost. But most people seem to universally dislike many of the mean games. Yeah. Including the stupid not... shoes parts. Yeah, many seem to either kind of annoying or just very boring. There was also a YouTuber I surprised did not mention it at all, but I almost quit him watching him for he seemed to almost praising it a little bit too much. You know, but they we just started to wonder are they blind to the flaws as well? But he did bring up the flaws in the end, luckily enough. But he did not bring out the shoes for some reason. Yeah, apparently that works a lot better in the console version of the game, where you can actually freaking turn similar to the, the other shoe. So, yeah. yeah. The, the, apparently the PC version, they are moving, both you and the shoe are moving way faster than on console for some reason, I don't know why. At least that's our current theory for the boss of us were talking about the PlayStation and then the GameCube one. They, I haven't heard what people thought about the Xbox and PC there. But, that's, yeah. but I noticed that <laughs> while watching videos that the shoes ran was as but drove not as quick as for us here. Yeah, from what I've been hearing, the PC version of the game is the inferior version. There we go, finally get rid of that little shit. Yeah, we, we may explain why we may have been so, so negative with this one. Maybe simply due to being PC version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, console games have a bit of a history of, yeah, being ported badly. So let's just say it as that. <laughs> Uh, vice versa as well. PC game co uh, ported to consoles can have also had reputation go sometimes badly. Sometimes do they end up almost better in a weird way. Yeah, yeah because the, there's just such a big difference in controls between a controller and I'm pretty sure that <laughs> that snowball should have crossed us there. But just such a big difference between a controller and a keyboard. And yeah, often. Uh, for some stupid reason, you know, control, you know, controller, controllers, you know, inputs gets ported, you know, get put on really stupid uh, keys, like a, like j movement on the arrow keys that makes sort of sense, but then putting actions like jump and such on uh, Z, X, and C buttons, which makes sense in a way. So come the fuck on with this thing. But from a just uh, from just a user, uh, Z, X, and C are not good <laughs> buttons to use for control, since a lot of people who play games will play them right-handed, not left-handed, like those uh, yeah control schemes lean towards heavily. Yeah, I agree. And sometimes in in some older games, seeing controls, I just question how the heck. <laughs> Do you play that practically without using the arrow buttons? Since I realize if you were to use them, I don't know what that which game was. I think some games do it that where if you were to use it, use the some controls I recommend you, you would end up almost tying your fingers or something. Yeah, and often you can't rebind controls then, so <laughs> that just doubles up on the stupidity. Yeah. 
Luckily, that has become much more rare in these days, to the point that I'm not even sure if it happens much anymore. It, it still happens, but rarer. Like, the, one example, it was not as a bad, just confused for me, you, you and me at first. Like, we played Valheim. You expect even to, to be the eye button. Yeah. But instead, it's the tab button that's in the inventory. Yeah, that's because with Valheim, at least, it, it, it also opens up other things. Yeah. And it it, it is it, less intrusive. Yeah, but it was, it was an easy, it was not a big thing, just, just a thing you could have to get used to. Uh, at least it's again. a bit, at least, at least tab is closer to your walking buttons. This is good. Uh, which was or the Let's see, the eye button is almost on the other side of the keyboard, otherwise. I think also something that gives a bit of a... Uh, a disconnect between this game and the previous is that this game has a, lot, a hell of a lot more focus on the combat. Definitely. What is that? Okay, that's one of them gone. And uh, I have learned some of the enemy names. Like, the normal guys are just plain hoodlums. But the, the small flying ones, not these ones, of course, they are called hoodstormers, apparently. Oh, yeah. And the gren grenadiers are hood boomers. So add your own boomer yeah, jokes in here. Oh, dear. But, yeah, in, in general, I'd say this game just lacks a lot of the polish that uh, that you'd expect. I, I still really like Rayman's de redesign for this. Or, would you call it a redesign? Uh, yeah, up upgraded, I guess? Yeah. Because, well, the previous well, in the previous game, he did look rather chunky. But, that, again, that was a PlayStation or Dreamcast game, so the, the graphics are can be excused. Yeah, and it was the first 3D Rayman. Yep. So they had to and figure it out well. <laughs> right. Um. Wait. What? I'm confused. Was someone in that? No, just a bunch of gems. But, okay, I will. This is just a small little detailing that the hoodlums are actually made snow, uh, slow snow lums, hood snows, or snow golems, <laughs> whatever. Uh. Yeah. And apparently, you missed some secret uh, levels. We bring some. Both Wolfring and also a view of a cut out boss. Yeah, I believe like that I've heard of that. That is from. Uh, who was that from? Nitro Rats? Uh, yeah, it, it, it was the first uh, one I watched. <laughs> uh, I believe that's in the last level, the Hood, uh, Hoodlum Factory, which, well, we, we haven't gotten there yet. Okay. So we can still see it. Yeah, if we can manage to find it. Yeah, I'm sure if that's the same one where Roblox runs towards something and falls into a pit. So, th this one thing I realized is that many reviews did agree that uh, the comedy is a very hit and miss, which to you and me also said. Yep. So another new reviewer said he basically loved all the dialogue. And he was probably the only one who said that, that uh, Globlox was improved and felt very lovable in this one. Yeah, but everyone else said he became extremely annoying and more stupid. And yeah, that could just be a case of taste differing and such a. That one's chucked a whole bunch of the. Bo <laughs> yeah. I thought, we, I thought we killed him already, but no, he's just chucking bottles to his own size. Yeah, I, I think I gave it there, it might be just a DM, but just 
and just the way he phrased it, like he, he phrased it like like it was a universal. He was the new group blocks here was universal loved by everyone. Well, that's not the case. Yeah. This is probably why I felt like that was a little bit a lie, since there's so many who dislikes him. Yep. Nope. And pick up. I, I, okay, I'm, I'm not a Rayman expert, far from it. I do think I liked Roblox. Uh, Roblox. Yeah, Globox. Globox. <laughs> You've been saying this Roblox for quite a bit now. Oh, bloody heck. Yeah. Groblox. I think I liked him better. Like, Globox, sure, not Groblox. Gro I'm, I'm <laughs> tripping who his name that, but yeah. I liked him in the <laughs> earlier game more. For sure, he was coward, but not a complete idiot. Yeah. And he was also a caring father and all that. Here, I don't know what the heck they did with him. Yeah, I keep releasing the lock-on button instead of the attack button. Uh, we, you two, get here. But yeah, in general, I'd say, yeah, th this. It, okay, not sure what that is supposed to be. Oh, hello. In general, it is still a good game. It is far from bad or anything of the like, but it could have. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it pales in comparison to the first, uh, to the previous game, and I think they just tried a few too many things that they, well. To, to use some, a line that I used a bunch during Rayman 2, they they didn't do a, a tonic trouble thing. As in, they didn't... they jumped into it too early without testing too much. Or getting you a lot of experience with, on it. Yeah. That, I think for a minute that this like the very stop where Murphy flies you. Without your arms. For... I find people wonder about that scene serves no purpose and just annoying, especially, especially if you accidentally fail it, you need to redo really it over again. Yeah, I can partially agree on that. I, I do. Uh, I, it it, it could have like served better cinema. if they'd done yeah. a bit more that's. Yeah, Murphy dropped you off a lot earlier instead of the uh, health. Instead of trying to showcase the health mechanic with it, uh, but yeah, it ends it... just as a way to, uh, uh, yeah, get you to be more familiar with the, to get more of a folk a feel for the uh, movement first. But the flying parts, yeah, they could have just made that a cutscene. Yeah, I agree. It should be a cutscene since you only do it once. Again, the third person was revealed. I found the love that the phrase they see it as the best thing of the game. Okay. Yeah, again, again, the third one revealed was, again, was, as I said, almost overpraising, so I almost quick watching. Like, I was getting a bit skeptical about this review of it. Like, a good review would point out the good and bad. And try at least to find some good or some bad. Just to be an. Just, again, there's no perfect game. And it's just more fair to show both sides. But he almost had me stop the first thought of it just to be so overwhelmingly positive that I sort of wonder has he not noticed the bad side as well? Where do we need to use this? Maybe higher up? It could be that they were trying something different or something, because a lot of internet reviewers are... Well, there's a bit of a stereotype for internet reviewers that they are always negative and such. Could be that they were yeah. trying to have a opposite image or something. Yeah, many of the ones I watch actually a bit more honest. Like, they report out when it's bad, but also report out when it's good, but also report out the reason behind it, so they don't... So not just hate, hate, they just... They did what they could uh, in all that yeah. situation that they explained that uh, things complicated so they, once he could 
do not turn out ad as well and all that. So they give you an informative look. I know you do reviews more for they're more fair. Ooh, hello there. However, some reviews I have completely stopped watching for I start to notice they are extremely negative but almost start to notice men are almost political leaning with the review. But there's almost a they try to hide that there's a political reason to dislike something. Because I also felt like, yep, that's it. I'm not watching you anymore. You're not reviewing the movie anymore. But, okay, that's a new thing that they are shielding a page. Yeah, I, I've uh, run into a reviewer or two who I just stopped uh, watching after I, met, I uh, figured out that they were basically a raging racist or something like that. Yeah. There we uh, go. And I think we're actually getting close. Brush my goldfish. Brush is gold. Wait. <laughs> okay. Wait. What? What do you say we're about to do with goldfish? Yeah, brush it. And hello. Yeah. So there you've been, Glowbox. Wait. Uh, yeah, sudden mini game I, time. I think I think you just had a bug there. Uh, how do you mean that? I think I... for a moment he accidentally. Sp for a moment he actually spoke French. <laughs> I. If he did, then I, at least I didn't hear it as such. But then again, I'm a bit more focused on not running into walls. I, I thought I could jump. <laughs> But apparently no. Yeah, I'm trying every again, button. I think he spoke French, but it, he is the damn difficult to hear at the moment. Yeah, the audio balancing can could have used a bit more work, but I, I think I heard that you can change up the audio separately or something. Yeah, you can in the menu change dialogue volume and music volume. Okay, a bit late for this in the third stream, but we can tinker at that after this. Yeah, and almost, before we forget, I know why the lip syncing is off. Yeah, I was I was about to bring it up as well. Uh, <laughs> it's because it's it's written for the French dub, and <laughs> okay, we can reverse this. Yeah, and let's be honest, starting, trying to make sure that all CDs have different animation for different languages, might be a bit unfair on the expectation. True, but in, it, it, in general it is sort of expected that at least the English dub gets uh, it accurate. Yeah, do, I think that's more easy to do nowadays. Back when this was released, that is one of those things that could almost be seen as a luxury. Or just, they may also, I think there was a measure they were not even able to do that. Due to their line. Uh, there we go. Oop, cutscene. Okay, this is giving me a big odd world apes. <laughs> what? Which was the first one again? A, a big odd world feel. This. Yeah, kinda. I'm not sure I've ever seen that cutscene. So, the heck? Andy's here someplace, I just know it. That little guy was starting to grow on me. Okay, uh, let's take a moment. Options, audio, dialogue, it's maximum. Oh, come on. Let's and lower those a bit. To... Yeah, the, the, those are the ones we need to adjust. Yeah, that, that just means that the the Good voice day. language is already low. You are entering the headquarters of the Black Lanza. Exterior temperature minus sixty one degrees. Interior temperature ninety eight point six degrees and rising. Wow, that lady's got a lovely voice. I'd sure like to meet her. Glowbox, you're married. Is he? Yeah, the the yeah, continuity he, between games is a bit iffy. 
Yeah, I think some people did complain uh, about that, that they seem not even him being him more annoying or extremely more cowardly, but also... Womanizing. Yeah. The... And then also the, some people seem to dislike the do talking to the audit Rayman had, but others loved it, and some people dislike the Ooh, Shine is here, but others love it. Yeah, you, you can't, you can't please everyone at, at the very least. Yeah, I, I think that's why we, you and me, like the other one more. For it was not, it did comedy, but it took itself a bit more serious tone since the situation was serious. Yeah, it was basically an apocalypse almost. <laughs> yeah, and we were no, freeing people and all that. Mm. Nice to who do music here. Yeah, very nice music. Yeah, it, 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 this is the hoodoo track. So why is that playing when there's no hoodoo? Or is he just going to pop up when we actually try and get a hit on this thing? I, have to say this, I find this one really annoying, even though this is like the second time we faced them. I think we faced them one time before, m more before by the own shore. Yeah, well, at I think the very I least, we've seen them in the land of the livid dead. Yeah, I think mean, I heard so many that they dislike this specific unit. Screw it. You don't have a question. You don't have a cash symbol over your head, so I don't actually need to kill you. Then again, you are standing in front of a button, so I will have to kill you, most likely. That's going to be oh annoying. Dear. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm about to think of something here. Or, uh, apparently, apparently, people or all the free viewers always love the doctors. Except for well, the over the. Uh, the overdone accent on the third one, I would have to agree with that. I, I, I think they're all a bit overdone accent stereotypes. I think uh, a little bit starting to annoy me. But uh, they were funny, yes, just maybe not. They should not done so over for doing the accent so much. Come on, how is a wooden shield stopping that thing? Mm. Uh, yeah, the reason I'm not liking this thing is because it it forces us to double task these things. Like, if these if the little ones just exploded after a certain time, sure. But we have we have to de you know, dodge them or detonate them ourselves. And yeah, we've already been facing this thing for like five minutes already and just and just how there we go yeah i think you need to do left right or something to since they can't look everywhere at the same time true but they turn so fast that wait oh no is this the same issue we have with the shoe race? Could, could it be to have on PC unnecessarily quicker response? Maybe. Let's try this. A charge punch. It also doesn't help when the little shits just get in the way of the attacks. Like there. Ugh, fuck it, I'm grabbing I'm grabbing the rocket. Let's see if that does any better. But yeah, it's just a bunch of small things that really add up to uh, drag this game down somewhat. Again, it is fully yeah. competent. And that can't reach it. Fuck. If they put more time into this game, maybe it would have been, uh, I'd say, Rayman 2's equal. And it again, it certainly 
isn't terrible. It just, yeah, doesn't fully compare, I'd say, personally. Yeah, so what we're seeing is more of our own personal reference and probably also due to the being a PC port. But I do look forward to see the other images. Like, I actually, after watching the trailer, uh, um, the reviews, I actually watched the trailer of Origin. Only the trailer, though. Okay. For it became recommended. And it made me so. I mean, maybe lose some respect for Rayman? Uh, what the? What is it? What are you scared of now, Glowbox? Uh, yeah, uh, Origins and Legends take it right back up the, you know, the silly street completely again. Hey. The reason I lost respect for Rayman is what he did very early on in the trailer. Uh, Nope. I mean, are we not spoiled if I don't know that the tracer in the trailer is Portic? Okay. <laughs> come, come on. Oh, yeah, well, uh, in general, oh, but the, the heck launched me there. Uh, also, just bugs here and there. Nothing game breaking, but just annoying like that. But yeah, Rayman uh, Origins and Legends, they are both considered to be really, really good games in gameplay. They, they don't have as much for story, so to say. But again, getting launched for some reason. But yeah. They are still really good games, and we will uh, get to those eventually after this as well. Yeah, I'm suspecting they have even more mature jokes, so to speak. Not the heck. The only thing I think I can spoil from the trailer, since I don't know if it appears in the game or not, is they. Basically, debated what Rayman was and made a drawing comparing to an eggplant. <laughs> yeah, like I said, pull back on the silly. Yeah, I will mean, say this. I expected people to do the eggplant joke, joke just. I did not expect it to come from the developers themselves at first. I would have expected that joke from Helian first or something, but nope. The developers beat him to it. Air traffic control has reported that the Leptis is now in view. Oh. oh, so that's what we got to do. We need... There's a freaking hood boomer at the top there. Chucking those bottles, so we have to move this thing through. And... Oh, come on. Oh, the heck. I, I, I have heard seductive voices in cartoons for kids before and all that, but they never reached. Yeah, so you're overdoing so it a bit. <laughs> uh, 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 what? This one might be overdoing it a bit. <laughs> uh, she goes all in. Like, she doesn't tune it down at all. Like, th this is the tune you expect from an actual adult animation, not a shite animation. Yeah, speaking of animation, there was a very short-lived uh, Rayman TV show as well. Which, what? well, like, like the other games, just didn't seem to line up with anything at all in the... <laughs> anything else in the medium or in the franchise. Of course. So from what I s I've seen the entirety of it, and it it, it is, yeah, it, it is weird still. 
But I, I quite liked it. All right. Is it 100 minute episodes? Uh, only a few. Less than 10 or so, I think. It got killed right. real quick. All right. And it, it got 10, so it's not too bad for... Uh, I think less. I don't know it, I don't know exact amount, but it was not a lot. Not a full season at the very least. Well, at least better than Battletoads. They aired one pilot and got cancelled right after. It only aired in US television once. Here we go. So yeah, take a... Oh dear. So yeah, take a moment to think about. A... First episode... Failed so badly that it comes of the rest. Oh no. They even overdid that. Your friend has fallen into my trap, and soon it will be your turn. <laughs> I think you'll need more than a bunch of cardboard to <laughs> for that to happen, Andre. I'm surprised uh. it even worked. Then again, they done similar things on cartoons, but you're surprised how it how it even works. Yeah, the, it's like on the le on the freaking level uh, with uh, the the, Mac the Macarians from <laughs> Giants and Kabuto. They fell for the very same damn trap. Yep. Not a, not exact same, but <laughs> cardboard <laughs> same. Yeah, uh. do I have to say these ones? Especially with a little bit overboard since it comes to tune for usually just see wait, they here they just bring with the keen and everything. So I got him there already. Uh anyways uh, I did manage to learn the names of most of the power-ups again. And yes, the red one is the heavy metal fist. The green one is the Vortex Punch, I believe it was, or Vortex Fist. Uh, the rocket is the Shock Rocket. And the, there's the glow box. Uh, the blue one is the... was It was either Lockjaw or Shockjaw. Uh, Lockjaw. Okay. Let's have it was Lockjaw. Due to... He actually hurts a lock job at people. Oh, hello, thank you. Uh, in general, still, I've said it like a, probably a dozen times already across all of these streams. This is not a bad game at all. And, oh, there we've got Hootstormers. Uh, yeah, personally, I just. I just prefer Rayman 2 and the 2D Raymans, uh, minus the first one, because that was freaking hard. Though I, I think <laughs> if they eventually do make Rayman 4, oh hello there, Toilet Boy, that they make it a somewhere between Rayman 2 and 3. Like, uh, most, the most of the, a similar feel or an ender look like Rayman 2, and a bit more combat like Rayman 3. Yeah, like, I don't mind it to be a bit dark and semi-serious. I don't mind it very comedy, just the comedy in this one is a little again, I, I said in the stream, very hit and miss. Yeah, a bit less immature would be nice. Like, sure, so much sure yokes is fine as long as it's uh, how to say this? Handled tastefully? Maybe it's yeah. not the correct term, just... Just not overdo it? Rayman, over here, quick, on timing! All the blood is rushing to my head! Where are you? Like, uh, like, example. If you want them to do fall for the pretty uh, cardboard girl trick, and it's aimed for kids, Maybe 
Maybe not a frog in a bikini? Okay, what, what the hell is Glowbox going on about that? <laughs> What's that a... Was that a fourth wall yoke? I guess. Voodoo's. Uh, yeah, one thing that is also was brought up, at least by Night for Rat, is that uh, Glowbox uh, is voiced by a, a professional comedian this time. Uh, but from the looks of it, I'm not sure if they let him write his own dialogue or not. Since make, making dialogue for comedians is a bit of a, a hazard because, yeah, you're not sure if it will actually fit their freaking style and such. Yeah. Uh, like, so, so, some comedians you may give to a character which they fit perfectly. But that's the problem. It may not always be a perfect fit. Yeah. Let's see how... Oh, I know how we can get you. And also, they can... Also, depend if the... Comedian is allowed to give creative input to try to be funnier. Yeah. It, it, again, if it doesn't fit their style... Wait, what? Something about a drum solo. Yeah, that caught me a bit off guard. What? Oh dear. Oh dear. But yeah, think, just uh, because. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, as I just as I would say, as I agree with the. Uh, Rad is, well, just because you use a comedian, does it may not make the character automatically lovable and funny. And also, don't forget, apparently the water here and slime is supposed to look like this. Okay. Okay, that could have been trouble there if he actually started shooting us, but yeah, these hoodlums are never aren't the brightest, huh? Yeah, yeah. And... Okay, people, take that little lesson. Don't look down a gun's barrel. Even if something misfires, there's a good chance that it can go off again. Yeah, I think, I think you people saw what can happen. Especially, don't do it, 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 it if you're unsure if it's loaded or not. Just treat any. Uh, from what I, I don't, I don't own any firearms, of course, but. Wait. Oh. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, yeah, I, I don't own a firearm. I never plan to. I'm pretty sure in, in my country I'm not even freaking allowed to. Uh, uh, wrong. Uh, but yeah, never... Uh, always... Uh, any weapon should be treated at all times as if it is loaded. Even if it is not, even if there is no way it is uh, possibly loaded, still treat it. And, oh, hello, that was the... <laughs> that was Rayman 2 Rayman there. What the heck? But yeah, always be careful with weapons. Always treat it as it was loaded. I agree with you there. Yeah. And especially for people with kids, lock them the fuck up. Triple lock them if need be, because kids will get their hands on them, and there have been plenty of cases where they've gotten themselves or someone else killed with someone's careless weapon. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay, I don't know if I dare to talk about this, but it's really like... I agree with you looking up the weapon. There was an ad recently encouraging to look it up properly, so you don't end up doing suicide, which then makes up the question... 
How do you secure your own lock from yourself? Uh, if you make it, 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 I think there are similar things for people uh, with the vulnerability for alcoholism. That if you make the, if you make it difficult enough to get to, that it would uh, discourage you from it, this. Ah, uh, okay, I think I get that. Yes, I guess just the commercial for it did it very poorly to deliver that message. Yeah, uh, likely. Yeah, but they may look like you just need to look a box and give up, like... Uh. Yeah, when I saw the commercial, like, I knew they, they meant well, just... Did not give a good impression. Yeah. Okay. Especially since it's a serious topic. I still need to keep an eye on that if it actually doubles our damage or not. Or uh, the damage that we take. I mean... Hmm. Okay. This, tune is, uh, this tune is quite nice. Simple, but uh, yeah. a decent bop. I think I've only started using bop like, as a word like recently. Yeah, same. Like, uh, yeah, I think... The only time I would always use Bob, it would like a like when a birds bobs their heads. But I never discovered myself doing head bopping to muses as until recently. Yep, yep. shortcut, nice. Hmm. All right, let's see what else we can talk about beside serious topic. <laughs> There we can turn it back to the game again. I, yeah. I don't remember Probably anything about this area. It, oh, it's an elite. Uh, they were called elites, right? Uh, I'm not sh sure, but they certainly are. They have the appearance of them, and these ones especially. Uh, did, I don't know the names of these types. Hmm. Was it Hood Trooper? A uh, good possibility. And these would probably just be likely called elite uh, hoodlums because they're the, <laughs> they're the same in design as the usual ones, but they are obviously better. So wh what are they even producing here? Is I. We've confused. seen those crates, which were full of explosive plum juice, but the, the hood boomers chucking up. There's even more up there. Is, is this just one giant <laughs> plume juice factory? I think it was a weapon factory in general, and as well a train center. True, there was, and... there was the cutscene earlier where they were talking about testing weapons. Where is... Yeah, and be right back. Gonna throw some food into the air fryer. Thank you, something special. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that the cage is up somewhere or so because I can't see where they are. Oh. Hello, sudden steam vents that weren't active until we got close. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh well, yeah, to summarize for like the, the dozen time or so. This game is not exactly bad, it's just, it could have been better. You know. The music, uh, there is some, one of them. Uh, do I want to actually go down and go get those? Screw it. Like, the enemy designs are competent, the level design is competent. What the heck did I just return to? A apparently a teensy that rents his socks. Or their oh, socks. Well, I, I was to ask, why do you rent socks? Alright. <laughs> Playing on the teensy. 
<laughs> I'll have to double. We'll have to double check this in Origins and Legends. Uh, I know at the very least in Legends you can get a bunch of skins for your yeah, different skins for slash characters. Uh, but I'm not sure if if it's. Uh, I'm not sure if the teensies are really gendered. Like, they spoke of a teensy king. There is word of... Uh, yeah, there's the teensy king, but I don't... Actually, I think... Yeah, I think in at least Rayman Legend... So, hello, camera. There's uh, talk of a teensy queen. So, yes, I guess they are uh, gendered like that. Hmm. Maybe. Don't tell me I... Okay, this fell down. It, it is always just a nice sign when a platformer gives you, cut, you know, shortcuts back. Uh, in case you fall down long paths like this. Yeah, like, whenever a game does shortcuts, I usually happy. Though sometimes I feel like... I think it's said in some games, they give you shortcuts to a zone you never return to. Which then... Makes it more confusing why is even give a shortcut if you're not even able to return to the area. Wait, what? What about the mattress? I hanged our mattress. Uh, <laughs> okay, who? What bad bot, uh, bad bot bids you for you to go and lynch your mattress? <laughs> Uh, um... Oh, hello. It... That was common in the past. Oh, we, oh it's just, the sorcerer that has it. Just nowadays, you only do that to thinner mattress. Since, uh, let's be honest, with my I have two mattress, a thin one, then they... You know, those big special ones that shapes off your back and all that. See? And let's be honest, you don't take the big one out for beating. <laughs> if you try to do that on any one of those metal things you put coppers over, it's just gonna flip over. And like gonna land on you and hurt. But they are heavy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing you meant uh, memory foam mattress with the uh, the big one. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I don't uh, think I have one of those. I think I've just, we just have normal ones here. I recommend them. A, a bit pricey, but they're definitely worth it. <laughs> okay, he just picks us up. And... Uh, uh, come on, let me get out of this. Uh, are we just going to get stun locked to death here? Oh, that's a minus point. Yeah. Uh, again, just... <laughs> just... <laughs> you feel like the fanfare every time we get smashed. You <laughs> just even allow Rayman to die in peace. Right. Hello. Isn't this our first game over? Uh, I think it's his second. Oh. Maybe. I, I think we died earlier in like the first or in the first stream. Okay, I must have forgotten that, but the yeah, still. That's a. Wait, what? There's something about not drinking near the guard or something. And not verifying the room temperature prop. I'm guessing that I'm guessing the room temperature is getting to the point where the hoodlum's outfit should combust. Likely as well the whatever they drink. <laughs> but yeah, that that was just really that was just bad design. If an enemy can just stun lock you like that, if 
there's nothing wrong with an enemy picking you up and just chucking you, but at least make it so that they chuck you actually a distance away so you don't get stuck like that. Yeah, that, 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 fe that feels like a ba very extreme bad design. Yeah, I think that mostly came up about because of this, this small area we were fighting them in. Yeah. And that they didn't think uh, that would happen. Again, not a bad game, just could use some polish. And again, we bring that up. The third reviewer did admit they may be looking at this game from Nostalgia Glossy, but they were, they were praising it as the best Rayman ever. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I... I feel like he definitely had... Had not noticed he was looking heavily through nostalgia glasses. Yeah. Uh, to be Do fair, I, I did the same way before we started with the streams on this. Yeah. No, he he apparently played it way more than you. Okay. Well, I, think, I think he said somebody already may have played it l literally a hundred times or something. Uh, that. Literally has been overused to the point that in official, uh, the in official dictionaries, its uh, definition is actually has been changed to figuratively. So I, when someone says literally, you, <laughs> you'll take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, I, I did as well, but he seemed to be really adamant about it. And if you, he'd been playing through this game over a hundred times and not noticed this most of the other flaws and that many people I, I, I'm still always surprised that he thinks everyone loves cur, uh, uh, what is name? Grow blocks. Glow box, not grow blocks. Uh, you're doing the uh, eco exaggerated Asian accent now. Oh dear god. Uh, I, I, his name is very hard for me at the moment, but yeah. Like, speak. I don't know, it sort of annoyed me when he, when he spoke. Like, has the perfect ex personality for everyone to just love him and speak, and like he was the best character, and there was nothing wrong with him. And everyone loves him, just made me. Uh, that's extremely biased opinion. Like, sure, it's your opinion, just. Maybe. A bit blind to not realize that he also extremely disliked by everyone else. Okay, here we go again. I think, actually, yeah, I, I was I was aware of this earlier. This is the part where Mini had even more issues with grow blocks or <laughs> go blocks. <laughs> just just call him the blue frog. <laughs> Uh, is there even O his name? No. G L O B O Ox. He's an ox? Alright. But yeah. It, him. People did not like see him jumping that cardboard for people. Many fans of the other one just felt like. Uh, no, 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 not again. What, what, what about his wives and kids? Yeah. And again, we have pointed so out multiple times that these games are a bit questionable with uh, continue, continue, uh, continuity. Yeah. But still, it did give many people a bit of a... Poor Creep taste. Vibe. Uh, what? Creep vibe. Yeah. I just hope he's better handling the other games. Yeah. He, he was he, he was enjoyable in the last game. Mm. So, and when it comes to Murphy, like in the last game he just came off extremely creepy. Here he just came off a bit more mix of funny and annoying. What? 
Yeah, I think uh, the blood is starting to go to Glowbox's brain and screwing with him. And you say that we hear him scream. You are currently in the hall of the horrible machine. And this is where. Hey, Tights, give me that mic. Go the reinforcements! Block all engines! Don't let Rayman get his grimy mitts on the horrible machine! Oh, the Okay, so screw with this thing. Thank you for the info, Andre. Yeah, I also remember some info in the third review. I'm not gonna tell you the, the third review's name for what first. I forgot his name. Secondly, I don't want people to go after him. So he, do you remember the water boss in this game? Yeah. That you said was extremely easy? He got stuck on it. Nope. He said it was the best boss in the game. Yeah, I'd say, you know, again, people's opinions are different, but I'd say that uh, the reflux boss fight was better than that. Yeah, uh, the, the way he glowed, the, the other people said a bit more mixed about bosses, and some were fair and all that. But it could be a bit more improved, but. He just went all in and said that that was the best boss ever, best mechanics, all that. Well, I remember watching you play it and it was... Almost underwhelming easily. Yeah. Easily? See? I mean... Okay, I, so, I get what we're supposed to do here. We're supposed to keep hitting that until it hits the top. But it resets the too fast, it seems. Wait, do we need to hold in the punches? Uh, I've been trying that, but even that, it just Ooh. goes back down too fast. Uh. Or uh, let, Let's try consecutive charge punches. Wait. Oh, okay, that actually works. That's... Okay. What will it do without me? Uh oh. Yeah, I, I thought we had to. I thought we would have to do it similar to the uh, platforms, where we have to throw the punches to the sides. But that if we wait oh, too no. long, that it will reset. Yeah, gonna check on my food. <laughs> Don't die. Hmm. Okay. That is odd, that why would... Uh, it doesn't make... Ex is, it doesn't re make really sense for it to... <clears throat> for it to reset so much faster on... Uh, on the uh, quick attacks. And back. Boots, boots done in seven minutes. Okay. That's all there is to it, then this isn't much of a boss fight either. Yeah. I still... Yeah, I still feel like the third year was a little long in the game a bit... Too much. Like, he could find some fault with it, yes. But he... Instead of saying there was too many mini games to distract it, he said they should done more them okay i think that's what he said uh, yeah that's a part of, i'm not sure i remember it correctly or not but yeah it, it, yeah again the third one was where the, uh, the review ever felt like it like i don't mind them talking a bit more positive about the game since i want the honest opinions just there's a point we start to wonder 
if they are lying to themselves or something. Oh, this thing uh, is speeding up now. Uh, I, like, I don't know. Like, he did say confess maybe he's looking through the game through nostalgia glasses. Yes, he might. Just unsure what it's called when you are overcompensating so, so, something so much and struggle to find fault with it. Okay, needing to focus now since this thing is speeding up yet more. Uh, there's one thing I'm surprised that none of them mentioned. And that is? Uh, you remember that it says excellent in the corner occasionally? What now? Uh, yep. uh, in the first stream, I think you did mention that serial shooter was it that one of the ranks was? Yeah, max ranks apparently. Hmm. And uh, I think you can see why I was hesitant to say it out on stream. Yeah. I'm surprised none of the reviews, reviews mention that, but maybe they didn't notice or pay attention to it. Good chance. But when I saw it, when I saw it, it was felt like probably a very poor choice of words. Especially a game that they aim for kids. Uh, then again, this game wasn't, uh, when this game was released, it, that wasn't as much of a well, known. Uh, issue uh, could be the same for when those videos were made. Yeah, do many of them were actually just for some. Some of them was, uh, I mean, Brad was probably seven, eight years ago. Someone else was maybe two years ago, and the, the one that had extremely positive view it had the most just a few months ago. Okay. But, so yeah, what is making maybe... the noise? Yep, it is making that. But yeah, if there's something I would change with this game as top priority is change that rank. <laughs> Come on, this again. I think the rank of Master Puncher would be better. I think I think we are getting too uh, close to the final boss though from the sounds of it I think so too and yeah since I did watch the reviews I did get a little spoiled but in this case I did not mind uh, the spoiling since it... let's be honest there hasn't been too much story in this game Can't be anything but good. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. The canary people and their segment was definitely very scary and almost fell back to the two with having that Raymond 2 feeling again. 
also i'm pretty sure that wasn't actually the scepter but more the thing that the the kid king put the scepter in uh yeah may maybe he had a a smaller scepter or something <laughs> because of his size i mean they needed the orb not the scepter the face power is more in the orb then they just took the orb and the whole pedestal with it yeah if you really okay. call that a pedestal mm, not sure <laughs> Like, just all the other ones you let die, but this one you specifically come out to protect. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, it says you should put things on a pedestal. You don't glue stuff to the pedestal, so to speak. Do we actually need to fight you bunch? Good question. But uh, yeah, uh, part of the re part of why I'm ne more much more negative against uh, this game might also also be my mood recently because uh, oh. yeah, I'm starting and I need to start a night shift uh, today, and then there will be four in a row. And well, I was sick for a few days as well, so maybe I am just being too harsh on this game as well. But in general, my opinion still stands that this game is you know or at least to my you know, eyes uh falls short of what uh rayman 2 achieved uh, i can agree with you says I, I do feel like this one would need a bit more polish and maybe a bit more tuning down on their their attempt on comedy they are trying to a little bit too hard i feel like hence again high amount of hit and miss yeah so a lot of it have been feeling a lot like misses at the moment or just what the heck but yeah i, I do hope the the one that you work are not not gonna accidentally burn you out I got to go postal man. I do feel surprised that no no one commented about the textures on the water. Uh, or again, in the reuse, it looked like this. It was behaving just like this. Uh, also, did you hear what the teensy said? Uh, what did he say? Yeah, uh, he he got he. He said that he he's gotta go postal, and uh, <laughs> that is not. Uh, no, if you know the postal series games, you, you know a bit of what going postal is supposed to be like. Going absolute <laughs> mad. <laughs> oh no! Okay, that used to make worse. But I had heard of the postal game from a CV eleven. I think it was eleven. Yeah. And I tried to watch one of the videos and I just gave up. I just felt like this is not a game I'm gonna learn about. Yeah, the whole thing about the Postal series is to basically be South Park, but even more so. More of a green dark version of South Park. How many of these hood stones are there? And again, I don't like so like I think it was an earlier season, I kinda like ish, but not by much. Then the other season was. Nope. Again, I don't like Family Guy. I liked some Simpson and liked some Family Guy, but overall, I don't like Family Guy or Simpson. But I do like Futurama and Disenchantment. Uh, yeah, I I've never liked. Uh, I some of the Family Guy's gags are good, but in general, it, I just don't find it funny at all. It's with how, especially how often it's just random stuff, it's, or it seems to be like that. Simpsons, I've heard, was very good early on, but uh, just it's just been going on for so long that of course the quality is going to drop eventually. 
Yeah, which is why probably I like to draw my decision, decision to move for. Again, I think I said it before. You can really, when you watch the drama and the enchantment, you can almost feel the the team having a, a fresh, fresh new air and motivation, and just yeah. a lot more new material to work with. Yep, two of them, three of them. Uh, okay. But the, uh, the thing that makes the biggest difference with Futurama, I'd say, is that uh, they Futurama, even though it's been revived like two or now three times or something, uh, it never it never outlasted itself. Is that they they were forced to continue even though they yeah didn't want to or anything. Yeah, for, I think they had plans to end it, and I think there's a Multiple plans times. to end it. <laughs> I mean, that's the same with this genre. Like, there is a big story going on with side stories, but it is a end goal. And I am tempted to say, tell us to add for drama and this genre on the list. For I <laughs> yeah, think you would enjoy them. Uh, yeah, from what from what I have seen of Futurama, I did enjoy those bits. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a full episode. But uh, I wouldn't be opposed same. to putting that on the to watch uh, list. Yeah, same. I see some full episodes, but many I miss and so fragments of. And many of the most famous ones I sadly missed. This apparently is the. I don't know if it was name. I was gonna say Snoo Snoo. Apparently everyone <laughs> loves it. I I know what it's sort of about. I don't know it has the space Amazons, but that's it really. I feel like I've seen those small clips I see not tell in the entire story. <laughs> but yeah. Definitely can recommend Futurama and Disenchantment for... I think some of the traits can accidentally think you're gonna think... Oh, it's gonna be like a family guy and that. But when you actually watch it, you realize... They may have some humor like that. But those are not the best ones. Yeah. They keep the best jokes away from the trailer. Uh, I think another little thing that adds up is showing here in that a lot of enemies just take too many attacks to actually get them down. Or yeah. some of them at least. Okay, again, some people said uh, the, the combat was an improvement. The third one said, I think said the combat here was perfect. And you have a tactic for each mo um, foe, which I guess is kind of true, but at the same time, is it really? Yeah, the, the, the combat is better than in Rayman 2, since most you had to do there was just straight... We, at multiple points, I think, we, were, we could just run circles around an enemy, and just keep lobbing uh, <clears throat> energy balls at it until they died. Uh, and yeah, even with the pirate, even with the different kinds of pirates, it did boil down to the same thing. Yeah, it but... kind of feels like that here as well. Uh, with these ones, we have to hit them with a big attack first to get their armor to launch off. Uh, but yeah, most of the, most of the common enemies can be taken out. In the same way, almost. Why is Hudum? Yep. What? The... Oh. <laughs> the enemy hadn't spawned in fully yet. Or dropped oh, in fully yet. Let's just go and grab my food. The Doom time. Yeah, with some enemies, I'd say that they just take a few too many hits. Like. Uh, prob probably for at least the normal ones and such, but well, the, 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 the bog standard hoodlum, it does work with. Uh, oh, come the fuck on. Uh, yeah, with many of the common enemies, like the, the hood stormers, the little flying ones and such, and I'd say that one charge punch would probably you know, should probably be enough to take them out as well, especially since they can just throw a lot of attacks at you as well. And yeah, for bigger ones, it does still make sense for them to take a bunch more hits. <clears throat> but yeah, 
some of them still feel like a few too many hit you know, they have too much health here and there like the big boys we just fought with uh. is there a way for me to turn fast or anything the wrong button okay so both jump and attack do that I, I have no idea how we're supposed to make sharper turns with this. From footage I saw, console versions definitely had a much sharper turning rate than this. And yeah, when you're chasing something, agility is everything. So yeah, we're probably going to be stuck here for another five minutes or so. Where is it? There you are. Of course, the problem here is that it has a lot of freaking pillars to hide behind. <laughs> Shut up, Teensy. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would more than certainly say that this is this mini game is the absolute worst of the entire game. Oh, that was a charge attack. Of, fuck. Yeah, especially on PC, but they if you edit drives way too fast to analyze what's going on or other. It doesn't turn as it should. There we go. Yeah, and again, the speed for. You, I think in the, the console you drive, you and the shoe drive half the speed as you see here. This makes it easier to keep track of it. Mm. And so, oh, you know, I, I might just be here. quiet for the rest of this because it just freaking annoys me. Yeah, you need to focus on also. Oh no, I think there's one more of these later. Uh, yeah, as much as I criticize the rest of the game, just the fact that this doesn't have me rage quitting should say enough that I do still like the game, in general. I just think that whoever designed this bit should be fired and thrown off a cliff. Just, yeah. Where is it? Did it get stuck? There it is. It was even... It, it, it also feels a bit out of... Out of place? Is, uh, yeah, out of place. Like, some things you get while you're doing, and why you just, This is just... Yeah, there, there is a lot of random stuff, but this is just too random in comparison to everything. And just yeah. too annoying. Uh, annoying and... Kinda of boring as well. Yeah. Like it, it, it this is nothing but filler. Yeah. Bad filler at that. And I'm back with my food, which is burgers and tortilla bread. Oh yeah, one way to fix this would be to just have you need to catch the, the shoe once. If it that had been at all, then it would have been it, it would have been a lot more uh, forgivable, because yeah, it, it it may still be annoying to catch up with it, but if just having it be a, a cat and mouse race would make it a lot more f interesting. Don't. Because then every near miss would be less of an annoyance and more like a fucking almost yeah, almost had him case. Instead of a, now I have to hit him again and again and again and again. Yeah, and there'll be many Gosh. times where we almost finished it only to realize, oh, that was not the last hit. We had like one HP left. It just annoys me when it comes to the, these kinds of puzzle games or mini games. Uh, 
and oh, oh I see he also have the Dora saddle with him, which means he you need he's not yeah. he's skippable in the game. Oh for love of Like I said it, it, it maybe either just once or twice not how many times have you been trying to knock them before? Like five times? Six? Half a, a dozen or so and I presume that the more speed we have when we hit them, the more damage we do. So at normal, we would probably need even more hits than that. Uh, where did it go now? Yeah. If, if I had any programming ability, I would just change the values in the game to make this a one-time hit and just leave it at that. Fuck em. Just give it a single hit point to be hit and done. Fixed most of the annoyance with it. It will still be a, uh, a challenge to get a good hit on it. There we go. But again, just needing one hit would improve this a hell of a lot. Actually, a better bit. If they remade this game, remove it. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Did it turn invisible? No, it slipped right by us. But yes, it, it's, it, its hitbox is just a freaking... Normally, I having accurate hitboxes on something would be a good thing. But in this case, it makes this stupid thing even more annoying to hit. Yeah, and again, I got something like a broken record. The speed we both are way faster on cons than on console, which means much easier yeah. to oversteer, much easier to miss, much easier to lose sight of it. Yeah, just the, the, just this increased speed alone is causing so much issues. Okay, I'm not surprised if it is. I mean, I think one of the reviews mentioned that the. Uh, you almost had to rely on these damn things to get stuck. Yeah. This is by itself very bad design. <sighs> Lost it again. Come on. Could have had it there if it got stuck just a little longer. Shut up, Teensy. I'm inclined to leave him in his freaking cage. But yeah, something that this also does is just it just completely breaks the you know, the flow of the story. Hmm. Yeah. Where is it now? There. This is also probably why I feel like it feels way too random. Even for this random game. Uh, where is it? There. Like, why would Rayman's own shoe suddenly challenge him like this? Yeah. There you are. Get in your freaking corner. <clears throat> yeah, I I'm going to be all too happy to be done with this game. There we fucking go. Ugh, fuck you. And you. Up and out. But uh, yeah, with the next game, we should be busy with it for more than just uh, three streams. Oh, back off, you. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't looked up how long it usually takes people to beat it, but. Yeah, there's quite a bit more length. I expect there it'll take us quite a bit more than this. 
Gotta go blow with fuse or... Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, Ain't that busy like old here? slang for... Uh, need to blow steam in anger? Uh, good chance. Uh, well, speaking of steam, that, that took up like freaking quarter of health. For a moment, I thought we got stuck there. Fame. Uh, like, yeah, we'll have to be we'll have to be real careful now with combat, since if we get a game over, we have to redo all of that, including yeah, the race. I yeah, that was my it first race. worry. My first worry when I heard you um, you for the other good stuck. Over it saw. Yep. To be honest, uh, luckily there's some health here. Okay. Yeah. If we if we have to redo this level, I might just completely drop the game. Just if stupid race, you know, the shoe race part. It's, it's just, I do not want to do that again, ever. Yeah, I, I understand you. Uh, I maybe I can look you. up a cheat to skip this bit or something, but yeah, we'll just have to see. Uh, yeah, at the least, I, I do I, not want to do that again. Yeah, and I accidentally... Uh, Actually, yeah, I actually, the, but the other two reviewers did not spoil the ending. The third one did. So I, I would be okay. Yeah, the, mm. Like, it, yeah, right now, you definitely don't. I, 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 yeah, I, I understand you not want to redo the damn race. I would not be opposed for you to just drop in this game. Yeah, for the ending, we can just go into the files and. And uh, have played a cutscene from there. The cutscenes. Okay. If any of these were going to blow steam right as we passed by, I was going to flip. Oh! I have to go finish inventing chocolate toothpaste, man. What the heck happened there with the sound? <laughs> he said he was yeah. going to. <laughs> He was going to need. He was going to invent chocolate toothpaste. You, but also not what I said out for. But when you broke it, you know when he says dong. Oh, but yeah, when you broke it, it got for some reason extremely loud with the bell sound of whatever it was in my ear. Okay, not so much on my end, but maybe. Yeah, OBS or Discord. Yeah. Still waiting for them to release another hotfix to try and fix, well, their previous one. Yeah. <sighs> okay, we've been at this for about an hour and a half now, but I think we should still be able to get to the finish. Let's... Oh... So... But that means, at least we uh, don't have to redo this stupid race now. Yeah. If we do die. Like, it bothered me who we able to get finished this today since... Yeah, no more frustrations uh, during the next stream. So that means the next stream... Hopefully be a bit more relaxing. Yeah. Like, with the... Oh. There we go. I need to remember to turn these black lums back into red lums. <clears throat> and there's even more incoming. Why don't you just spawn there, you dumbass? Yeah, uh, we're testing with the next game I've planned for streaming. There have been a few issues so far. The one that it. it Seemingly refuses to work completely with uh, game or uh, game capture, but instead uh, I've managed to get it uh, working with the modified desktop capture. 
Okay. Okay. Not that, Rayman. There, there, and there. Oh, no, not the best of the Elspeth reviews. Two of them, yeah, the story is sort of simple, but not too bad. But there's not much story to be in with. Again, the third one praised the story for being brilliant and uh, easy to follow. Yeah. I, I have to agree that I do like the story somewhat. It, it is definitely different to basically uh, have an escort mission where, where uh, well, you're escorting the villain to get <laughs> removed. Uh, but it, it isn't brilliant, of course. And yeah, the more I hear from this third reviewer, the more I just get they are an absolute fanboy. Yeah, a little bit too fanboy. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm a fan of so many things, but I don't become that guy. Okay, screw that up by going into the helicopter too early. Hmm. Yeah, it could just also be a, just a difference of agreement that uh, they grew up with the game and that set their standards or something. Might be for uh, they. I think they grew up to be the game the most. For they, they played the first one, the very first one, but he did not play the second one apparently. Okay, that could be that could help explain a bit or two as well. Yeah, he had only heard about the second one, and did not like it. It has a bit of a darker tone. Uh. Still, yeah, I, I think he probably would need to play the second one. Okay. Yeah, we have half an hour. Should still should be plenty for finishing the game, I hope. Unless they're going to tease us with more in between bits. If there's another shoe yeah. race, I might just bail on as well. Yeah, I don't think there is another one now I see in the area. If there is, if there is a fur fourth, oh bloody heck. And uh, yeah, we've missed the, uh, we've missed the Easter egg of, uh, which, well, to, uh, <clears throat> the, the Easter egg uh, would have been a diorama of all the, uh, the robot, pi the robo pirates. It's set up like the, uh, what was the painting called again? The last dinner? No, not. There's, it's last usually supper? more fancy. It lost supper, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah the, 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 the supper, the last meal, something. Yeah, the, the last supper. The, all of the Robo Pirate designs lined up in the, to emulate that, which <laughs> I have to admit, that is pretty funny to think about. Okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, uh, since I did get spoiled, I am kind of worried for the final boss. But apparently, even the third year I agree that they watched the final boss. Watched the. Uh, botched. Uh, it, it, but, yeah, if, if they'd never gotten to the final boss, I would have put some uh, question marks to their review. Is is meant well, even more. Yeah, for I, I would be surprised if they complimented the entire final boss. For he even he agreed that half the final boss is fine, but the second half is most a massive mistake. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, it really just does feel that like this game has was just released too early. It... There. Yeah, too early, but also with too many ideas. There. I 
think we are getting towards the end now, really. That's a bunch of these. <laughs> Okay. Come on. What more is there? A... Me and my big mouse. Okay, at least this is simple enough. Of the, uh, yep. of the power-ups, I'd say that they like the Lockjaw and Heavy Metal Fist the most. <laughs> yeah, there's something about the Heavy Metal Fist. Okay, there we go. Okay. Has just get across on these in enough time to actually to use the lockjaw to get uh, across. Okay. Here we go. Fuck you. Yeah, I think I agree with some of the early reviewers that some of these puzzle fits like just padding. Make your what pig? And yodeling? What? Yeah. I do like that uh, all of the teensies have different lines and they even have different outfits depending on where you find them. Yeah, do many of the yokes are stuff are mostly miss. missed. Yeah. Okay, this uh, is man? that's a long way up and a lot of balloons. And I still wonder like yeah, humor is Comedy and humor is subjective. I still find surprised that the third reviewer oh, crap. loved all the jokes and all the dialogue. But yeah, I think he was uh, having a bit. He was a bit too of a fanboy. Yeah. Luckily, it isn't rising too fast. It looks like, but. I'm still going to focus here. Because I do not want to ha fall all the way back down. Luckily, these uh, helicopter too early. These balloons do respawn. Quickly get you. Go, well, you know what the. This, this is a bit interesting that to f we can f oh, we can fight with the hoodlums, uh, but the main issue is well, that we and they need footing to go up. So, yeah, we can just fight them indirectly by just popping the balloons underneath them. Though that also leaves us less. Okay, let's just get away before that stuff catches up. Mm. I'm glad that it has many of these checkpoints. And here it is. And yeah, before people start, I'm neutral about turret sections. Like, there are good ones and bad ones. But I can see why people got tired of them, and there was a period where almost every game had turret sections. Yeah. It, it really just depends on just the length. It, 
and uh, yeah, the the punishment for failing it. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit annoying. The reason with her... why? This is a bit annoying with how up and down I reversed. No box, shut up. You were funnier at the start. Really cool. They could use a few yeah, he was. <laughs> Even Rayman is hitting him. Tetris? Um, I think you got the name wrong there. Yeah, but even I can't figure out what the name is. Lepris, I think. But not Tetris. There's are, are we else. doing that damage? Yes, we are doing that damage. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm getting the f a bit of the feel for it with the up and down. But I, I keep reversing my own, uh, the horizontal as well for every now and then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, come on, this is just too many again. Reversed it again. Is that all of them? Nope. John. I do hope we get more than enough health to get to full before the final boss. Oh yeah, it wasn't the time that you could end up. What? Hey man, it looks like you found the flusher. Right. I was gonna say, wasn't the time you could in some Very games, Very but it designed so badly that you could accidentally enter the boss. Without being full healed and like just be one of two heads pulled away from die, without mm. being healed or finding healing at the fight. Okay, gotta be careful because we're on low health. And I don't want to do this over again. This, this isn't as bad as the shoe races. Yeah, I think uh, many. Man, they say that at least this one doesn't overstay its welcome. As it's redeeming quality, apparently. Okay, there we go. What is that noise? Yeah. This I mean, I'd be surprised if that's a sound bug. And it's God, thankfully. Okay, uh, no homo between the two of them. With Andre talking about uh, Reflux's big scepter. Come on, Hillian. Yeah, at the very least, we got pulled. Yeah, we got healed to fall again. Uh, Here we go. Okay. Okay. How do we take you on? You have a shield up. And we out can't break. Yeah, uh, I there's a bunch of metal fists. Uh, I think most of the reviewers agree that his first fight with him and the 
first uh, half fight here, people really enjoyed. It was one of the best boss fights. But yeah, I'm not gonna say what happened on the other half. Yeah. Oh, oh, that we need to electrocute the shield, or do we need to damage it to shrink it? Either way, the lockjaw is doing a good job of it. There we go. At least now you can hit him. Yeah. Gotta be careful where we walk. Nope. Okay, those just bounce off. So, okay, we do need the lockjaw to break the shield. Yeah, I think you're gonna need. Walk. Yeah, I think you're gonna need all the suits to fight him. Okay, shield on. No, oh, he's speeding up already. Just walk in a circle. There we go. Yep. Okay, is he changing up his strategy depending on what suit we're using or something? Sure. Ooh, he's going real fast with that. But you're doing good damage. <laughs> okay, now we, we're just timing it <laughs> along with his uh, attack changes. Okay. There we go. Circle around so we don't actually walk where he's aiming forwards to. Okay. Nope. Go. Let's grab some more red lungs. Just in case we keep our health to the second phase. Okay, he's staying in this one quite a bit longer now. Okay, just make loops and get closer. There we go. It yeah, can't be good. Okay. This doesn't even know how to jump anymore. Okay. Uh, we're going to need the lock jaw, I'm pretty sure. Ow. Okay, for that we need to be low. For that we need to be high, I'm guessing. Now there's lock jaw. Okay. Go dodge that. Okay. Oop. So coming still got hit. Okay, come on, do your stomp. You know what? I'm just going to wait here until he does it. There we go. We need to get to that thing on his back, but... Uh, yeah, there's a... There's one there. Okay. Luckily, this one lasts quite a bit. Yep. That's a... New one. I think you're supposed to run up his arm. Yep. Great man, hit the damn thing then. Come on. Okay, did... 
How did we... How did he... We get him to do that? Uh... Reflux. Okay. Okay, so we need to get the lockjaw, then go back to the hook, to the flying hook. Uh, yeah, I completely missed what we did specifically to cause him to do that new move. And then we're probably supposed to just grab the heavy metal fist and, and go to town. Uh, no, he doesn't. He does that on his own? What? Okay. Okay, we need Heavy Metal Fist for that. So, why do we even need... To... Uh, okay, we need... We need the Lockjaw to get the fist. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm getting doubts about the quality of this phase as well. Yeah. They could they could have just put the can a lot lower. So I think people maybe forgot this one due to how the last bit is. Yeah. Okay. Grab lockjaw. Grab heavy metal fist. Get randomly launched in the air again. He does desert whilst we're on the way back. So there. Got the fists. And when he's... Or else Rayman will jump up on you. He, he's not even getting stuck on anything or so. He just gets a cramp or something. Okay, another three more times should do that. Yeah, three more times, possibly. Less if you're lucky. Yeah, a few of our attacks there went missing because we weren't locked on. Or missed because we weren't locked on. Yeah, I think there's some criticism on the lock one mechanic not always working. Uh, with the heavy metal fist, I meant some of our attacks missed there. Uh, because I wasn't locked on. I was just thrown randomly whilst it was selected. I think yeah, I lucky. heard that the, the lock-on was not always working properly. Come on, grab it. Go. Yeah, two more times. Any new moves or are you just going to speed up? Just speed up. But that means we're yeah. just able to get the punch in on in the, in the back again faster. Yeah, the, the first part was the best part of this, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, nope. Uh, I could say this worked on. well as a famous, the final segment. If they did something more with it. You know, like there, there's literally nothing keeping him down for this. Okay. One more. Oh, yes, you. Yeah, have you not missed the earlier blows? You might have had him down by now. But still, we, we always brought him down, and I guess we'd like to be able to finish it. M maybe yep. a bit over time, maybe, but not by massive amount at least. Yeah. Nope. This, this dead attack is just way too easy to dodge, even if you forget the jump. Nope. 
now it's just this one again. I feel it's pre pretty freaking random for that he just some. It just feels random from just me throwing out metal bombs all of a sudden. I thought this game, I thought this fight only had two phases. Uh, I guess that shows what an effect the, uh, yeah, the last stage has. I thought that, it had that's three, the only thing you remember. Oh, it means it has four phases then. Yep. Well, I thought it was three, but. Oh no. I guess it means it's a year four or five. I, I hope not five. Yeah, we gotta keep going up because the platforms beneath us are being deleted. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, how are we supposed to progress from that? No, tell me, you're gonna be just for one sloppy. Oh, no, they're going back. Yeah, it, it, it felt a bit way too punishing there. So at least it was not instant death. For yeah. That would have just been way worse. Would it be even worse if we'd have to do the previous stages again as well, which would likely be the state case if we die. Yeah. So we really don't want to die for... Yeah, if we die, that that would be either dropping the game... We'll have to do it or not. Actually, no, it's probably better to drop it since the overtime would probably then be way too much. And there we of go the again. East death. Uh, yeah. On this I'd definitely say don't have the freaking platforms disappear. At least they reappear quickly enough, but still you nobody wants to fall back and fall down somewhere and climb all the way back up again, only to fall back and down again. Yeah, yeah it, just, just look at uh, people rage game at the... Uh, oh, what was the game the name again? Getting over it. That's the one. Uh, that also makes me worried. Or it was the very last piece people hated, hated the most and what it was, was best, most known for. And they... Did not mention this one at all. Gee. That just makes me worry how bad the very last part will be. There we go. Now let it take the... Okay, one bloody shot. Good. If that, if that had to be done multiple times... Yeah. Don't celebrate too early, Rayman. Rayman, it's me. Come on, hop and on. here it is. Andre's gotta be there. Okay, loading screen, so this would reset to here. Not the entire yep. thing. Um, behold, people. The most hated part. As they put apparently everyone's body just want to be uh, removed. And I need to I need to keep clicking the button instead of holding it like I was able to earlier. Oh for love of
go. Shield is gone, but no damage. Okay, were we supposed to have a window there to damage him? Okay, so far it's easy enough. Just intercept his shots. But how are we supposed to damage him? There we go. There we go. Now it's now he's spawning black lungs. You're gonna need to do this over and over. Oh wait, is he getting healed? Is he going to get healed from these? Yeah, yes, he I is. Think so. And okay, so we need to we need to throw these bombs, and, which is a first. Okay, at least it's it's showing a cursor as to where the bombs will land. Okay, that helps somewhat, even though it seems to change. Yeah, it, it's, it shifts forward after we actually attack. Okay. Yeah, just, just a hell of a lot of questionable design things here. Oh. He at least got a third of his health gone. So that's how we damage him? He will just try to survive till we can hurt him on the ground? Yeah. Okay, you going to charge? No, we need to remove the shield twice. Okay. Yeah, th this 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 doesn't feel like it should be part of a final boss fight. Okay. There we go. We just gotta aim up. Okay, now we know what to do at least. Oh, he's almost dead, uh, according to that. Yeah, but he's going to heal from every hoodlum that we miss. Which is going to be a lot still. Especially if we keep bouncing around. So why now bombs? Could we just use the, the freaking turret to mow them down? Yeah. Okay. Ah. There we go. That's another third gone, at least. Probably the ballast at 10 for otherwise you just mow them down too easily. But still, hmm. yeah. Actually, if we just keep aiming up, are his shots just going to travel into the into it on their own or something? Or I think I'm just aiming it instinctually almost. I think you're supposed to aim at them. And hopefully this will be the last one that we hopefully finally kill, uh, beat him. Okay, straight line so we can charge. There we go. Capture what? Yeah. For some reason, he want to save Andre. Yeah. Has he developed Stockholm syndrome? Sort of, I guess. Like more like parental Stockholm or something. Oh uh, dear. Okay, that one is going to go in.
this one gone and that one gone and and we should have only one round one round of this left because I think he has only one hoodlum worth of health left okay I actually have to say I I pref I like the previous section less than this one. So consider my opinion changed on that. And simply because I dislike having to climb back up things. Yeah. Also, why uh, the health extensions we got throughout the game don't matter here, because we're using the the well the flying cart's health instead. And is that it? That seems to be it. Well, that's one way to be certain. <laughs> There's nothing he can do. But you were making that stupid noise. <laughs> and with the source gone, or patient zero gone. And back to where they were napping before. <laughs> Where we started. Looks like we get a full night's sleep after all. Hey, what's the matter, Glowbox? It's Andy. I miss him. You know, he's happier now. Look at the red lungs. How happy they seem. I don't care. I want my Andy. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Besides, I wouldn't know how to do it. You have to scare a red lump. I hate to imagine what could possibly scare a lung. Let's rewind time a bit. That's what that's supposed to be. It's not too uh, <laughs> well told. And remember when I said that these things could act in inter independently? And that's how Andre was created. And this is the ending? Yeah. Let's see. Well played. You saved the world and its immediate surroundings. But did you get one of the higher scores? To find out, register on the da Enter this secret code. You can also register to take part in the Lums race. Try to improve your score by replaying levels in Rayman 3. The secret code corresponding to your score, available in the Lums race page, will be out updated automatically. Uh, yeah, let's not. They were proud of the race. Okay, the TNC freaking out there for a second. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Still, yeah, I... th this, this game is a bit like it's humor. Hit and miss. Yeah. I, I really like this second one way more. Uh, if no, I were to thing. rank them... Oh, go ahead. Uh, I, I would... I would almost say neutral to this one, but... No, I think I kind of... I kind of dislike this one. Yeah. I don't hate it, but don't like it either. And, and more dislike. Yeah, I'd say... The world of Rayman doesn't make sense. Yeah, that is known. It, it is, well, in Rayman 2 at least, it is literally dreamt of by a sleeping god. Uh, 
but it's this one feels just too random at parts like Glowbox pulling that car out of nowhere uh, and yeah like I said like the humor hit and miss I, I really like the hoodlums I really really like them and they're just their patch punk design yeah they, they, uh, I like they, Raymond's new design. design yeah and for the most part I like Andre as a villain as well it is it, it, it isn't too much of a story really like a, but it is a it is definitely an original one I'd say from the, that you, you you basically start the game where most games would have ended uh, with uh, the big bad captured and needing to be to be dealt with uh, only yeah he's just causing mayhem inside Glowbox's body yeah I think I've seen that story trope done before. I'm sure I've seen it in games before. Well, probably they have been in the games before a lot. But still. Yeah. Again, I don't hate it. I just. It feels a bit like a letdown compared to the other one. Story wise. Yeah. It, uh, Design wise, it was fine. Yeah. Go on. Yep, I, I also like the upgrades and the outfits that it gives. Yep, especially, like I've said before, the heavy metal fist and the lockjaw. The heavy metal fist more than that. And this team is just completely vibing here, huh? Oh, Lordy Hank. Uh, uh, yeah, hit and miss. If I were to rank this 1 to 10, I think I'd probably put it like a 6.5 to a 7. I think I will put that as, as a four. Hmm. Yes. It's not at a five or six, I will be more neutral or neutral positive. But yeah, it's a four, it says yes on the neutral. Yeah, could just be my nostalgia poking in again. And I'm really going to look if there if someone made freaking teensy plushies or something because I I do like the little guys. <laughs> I I'm actually really surprised if they haven't. Uh, King vibes a lot here. Oh, the voice actors, uh, David Gasman. Wait, Gasman? Is it? Isn't that the same voice actor as fucking Paige? I'm looking that up. Uh, phone. I, I think there were some uh, big voice actors here indeed uh, that are, have been in other shows. Let's look. Da, 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 da. Come on, stupid thing. I am DB Rayman 2. No, not, not 2, 3. Rayman 3, I'm DB, that works as well. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Now, there is more of this game still. We, there is some extra stuff that we can show off still. So yeah, we are we're 15 minutes over time at the moment, but I think we can do a few more just to give a bit of a preview of what the extra stuff is. And oh yeah, Groove Armada Matter. So I did get their name right. Uh, let's see. T -t 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 Top cast: David Gasman as Rayman, John Leguizamo. Probably getting that wrong as Glowbox, Billy West as Murphy, Andre is voiced by Ken Starzevic, um, Jody Forrest as does additional voices. They are a pretty known one, I believe. Okay, David Gasman, let's have a look at yours. Siberia, Chip and Dale. Okay, 13. Rabbit's Invasion. Uh, Outcast. Okay. Uh, Arkale in Sticks. Wait, isn't Arkale the, the, uh, the orc that you play in Of Men and Orc or something? Sure. Kelly Mero. Okay. <laughs> That was unexpected. Um, Beyond Two Souls, Mars Warlocks. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, Archeo of Orcs and Men. Okay, yeah, we I we have looked this one up before. Rayman in Rayman Twin uh, Origins. Where's that Legends? Yeah, that's Origins. Legends was probably up further. Red Steel too. That's yeah. I'm going to need to do a, a search on this you know, in this list. Uh, let's see where is where are all of the people you were. Fuck off! Come with, on, get the ad. Um, Hillian, <laughs> read the ruling text. Yeah, what? Young lady with no torso or head seeks Rayman for torrid mergers. <laughs> uh, uh, <sighs> okay, that's a um, that's a pretty good one, I personally say. Okay, filmography. I, Come on. I, I'm speechless on that one. <laughs> okay, let's head to the bonus part here at least. Uh, Mario plus Rabbit, Sparks of Hope, Rayman voicing still. Uh, yeah, Beyond Good and Evil uh, 2. Wait, they have already... Uh, let me do a finding page. And then Beyond, there. And to the next one. Uh, fuck off with your app, IMDB. I do not want. Now we gotta do that again because the freaking button was over. Uh, Beyond, there we go. Beyond Good and Evil 2, Beyond Two Souls, Beyond Good and Evil Page. Yeah, okay, that is a fun discovery. <laughs> Our country pig is the same one who is the vo new voice of Rayman. Well, the voice of Rayman, since I don't think there were any others. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's a surprise. Okay, uh, cinematics, these are, yeah, these are the cutscenes. And then there's extras here. And those. Yeah, they, you've probably they, heard of these. Yeah, like, weren't they, they, they like. Oh, wait. Is it 250 V? But how many videos did they actually make? Only this amount plus the two that we don't have equipped. So, oh, so, uh, the, so the numbers are a bit of a lie then. Yeah, it's, it's just. <laughs> numbering stuff big for the sake of being a joke well yeah, okay. for anyone who doesn't know uh enjoy <laughs> oh i didn't have it there <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it has the groovy music <laughs> yeah, they're that they're basic. <laughs> Go ahead. That was just cruel and a bit of an ellipsy warning, almost there. Uh, <clears throat> Oh dear. But yeah, these lessons are just skits they put together for fun, where basically they're instructional lessons on how to kill Rayman, but it comes across more like a <laughs> evil Sesame Street. Uh, accidentally skip part by the switch, so yeah. And we're not going to watch all of these. Just a few to get an example. And yes, every time it's a different victim. <laughs> One more? Come on. Okay, one more. Oh dear. Yeah, buy 546, get one free. Oh, hello. You again. Or did I get the wrong one? Uh, wrong one. Great. 
Did we? Did we skip one then? What? Let's see. Is this the, is this the battery one? No. What? what? The second? What? Are the second and the third the same? That's not supposed to be the right way. But you use the same victim? Or maybe something which... Yeah, I, I think... Hmm. Let's just watch this one instead. Maybe, maybe something went screwy when I moved in the better quality videos. Or supposedly better quality. 312. Yeah, this is the one's different. Yep, then it that thing that they they say it clean. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Yeah, oh, they're, they're, they're just stupid things that they put together for fun. Wait, was Harry Potter released at the same time as this? Uh, before, probably. Let's see. What is, this is not an unveiling ribbon. Okay. Okay, for, uh, that felt like a Harry Potter reference with the bow tie. Uh, yeah, oh, that, it, the, the it tie was. All. <laughs> this, this game came out after the books, at the very least. Uh, actually... I don't remember what year specifically they were released. Um, maybe one or two of the film of the movies were released after, uh, before this. Uh, at least, I'm not surprised if at least one of the movies were released before this. Yeah, this game came out in 2004, I believe. So one or two probably. Yeah, for, I, rem I was pretty sure I was a kid still around this time. But for now. Uh, we've gone over time enough, so let's go over here. And uh, yeah, a bit disappointed in that well, it didn't match up with my nostalgia glasses, but that is my own fault. But uh, we are done with it now. And we aren't, go like last time, we aren't immediately moving on to the next Rayman game. We are going to put something else in between still. And uh, if the schedule, what I had was right uh, we are still we are still pushing away commandos 2 at the moment but we might put that in still after uh, the next one uh, but for now the next game that we'll be streaming will is called the operative no one lives forever spy game uh, yeah it's a spy game set in the 60s so that's going to be a ton of fun I know how this is gonna end. And um um Hillian, there you go. Yeah, the browser opened up on the same page. Again, I don't know what it is, but so, for some reason when something gets opened full screen on the same <clears throat> or some now that's just some things opened on the same pay, uh, screen as OBS just causes it to completely flashbang the the, the footage going to Discord to enter Kier. But yeah, let's have a look for someone to raid. Uh, there aren't too many people on at the moment, probably. Uh, nobody we, we know. Uh, let's see. There is Wolf Machina, who is streaming. Oh, they're, yeah, they're streaming Minecraft with the Create mod. Then okay. there is Mischief of Mice streaming Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Iggy Maid streaming Fallout. Hamster of Wrath with Battle Tack. Uh, whatever. I'm never going to be able to pronounce the name. Is streaming Mac Warrior Online. Uh, let's see. The, the, the Twitching is streaming Rimworld. And then we have Kelpe streaming Bloons Tower Defense 6. Any of those sound of interest? I guess the microphone. Okay. Uh, so just going to mute the site, go over, copy the title from the URL, and so, yeah, head to our channel slash raids, yeah. and there. 
Okay. Uh, <clears throat> all the same, even though we really didn't enjoy this game as much as others in the previous ones. Uh, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. Next time, uh, maybe tomorrow, we'll be able to get started with uh, No One Lives Forever. It is a game that I quite enjoy, and not just because of nostalgia glasses, because it is just a plain funny game. <clears throat> uh, hopefully, I hope you're right for... I didn't really have much laughter or enjoyment from the, uh, this Rayman. Yeah, like we said multiple times, uh, hit and miss. Yeah, but, for... but imagine you playing a spy game is enough to put a smile on my face. <laughs> The stealth is optional, though, in most missions at least. So for now, thank you all again. Uh, <clears throat> thank you again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, people, and watch out for maggots. <laughs> and the random hoodlums. Do as well. <laughs>